Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are looking at a Twin Flame reading for Johnny Depp and his Empress. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's pick up on their energies here for Johnny. We're going to crack the deck and see what comes up mirroring each other oh relationship reflect our wounds introspection so some healing going on here now what about her ah welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect and the bottom of the deck wow making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care so i feel like she may have at one point was with somebody that wasn't good for her and I feel like she may be free of that person looking at self-love here I like this what's the intentions here for Johnny what is his intentions expressing his love I like it and what about her unrequited love okay there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going I kind of felt like that was the person before I don't feel like this is him I feel like she may still be in with this person thinking that this person is the one but there's unrequited love here so she still may be in a relationship with someone else right now What's this unrequited love? Mm, just attraction to somebody here. Yeah, I don't feel like there's anything more than that. Yeah, I, I feel like there may be attraction there, but yeah, stay optimistic. So positive thinking that this is going to change. Let's see what the intuition is telling her and Johnny. Let's see, what is the love message here? Turn on your heart light. Reflect on time when you experienced love. So looking back at when they experienced love and to turn on that heart. So that heart chakra. Let's see with her. Focus on love. Wow, look at the good in everyone. And that may be how she views things here. What else can we find out about what her intentions are when it comes to the person she's with right now? Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. See, I can't make it up. <laughs> So there is a need for her to change how she's looking at this, this person she's with, because there's unrequited love still. So she's still with somebody she shouldn't be. I don't feel like they've met yet. The union of hearts, love connection defies explanation. So this is something that they could definitely have here. I feel like if she, walks away from this this is what she'll get with the number 10 there i feel like like look at that picture isn't that beautiful so i feel like she lets him this person go that she's with she's really gonna find this union with johnny express love through gifts small tokens of love can convey great appreciation this is number 10 again and I feel like one he's wanting her to come out of whatever she's in to come towards him I feel like he's calling her in he needs to have faith trust your faith in this situation so I feel like there's things that are going to change this is growth I feel like she may be growing from this experience of unrequited love and realizing the patterns here. Take the chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. And this is their combined energy. This is change with the number five. So things are really going to change here. Their intentions are clear here that she needs to 
change whatever she's in in order to have this beautiful union with Johnny. She may not even see this coming. This may be blow her mind, may not even realize. What is the action here <laughs> for him? Wow, look at the stallion. Woohoo! <laughs> Unleash that inner beast. Okay, break free. <laughs> Strong emotions, desire, driving force, that stability, structure, and manifestations. He may be trying to manifest her to come in. This empress. All right, Johnny. Okay. So there might be some stress, anxiety, worry. I feel like this is on her energy, and this is that nagging um, energy to change with the number five. There may be instability and conflict going on for her. And the number seven, reflecting and assessing things, gaining knowledge on what she's seeing, and realizing her potential here. And this is kind of focusing right here on the unrequited love and these patterns that she's seeing. And I feel like she's realizing it's time for a change. Let's see for him. Ah, this is developing over time. Flava, flava. <laughs> Ripening, ages well. This is alchemy. This may be him transforming what this is to love and for her to realize that he's calling her. Um, this is a family legacy. Maybe they're both meant to do together. The good stuff. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and let's see. Rainbow wishes granted. Blessings. Patient pays off. Abundance. Good luck. Prosperity. Perfect timing. So when spirit deems it necessarily or the right time, this is fruition, attainment, and fulfillment happening here. She will get her wish of a true love. I feel like she's wanting that just as much as Johnny. What is their combined balloons, fun, freedom, high vibe, let it go. <laughs> now this is attaining goals, um, stress-free. This is success rising up in ascension and this is beautiful and then we have rest relax i feel like they're gonna go away somewhere yeah in limbo self-actualizations suspended between two things i feel like they're gonna meditate they're not doing much they're maybe sitting on a beach or it's just beautiful they're enjoying time together that's that's so wonderful all right, how Johnny feels about her indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So maybe not having so much faith here, maybe feeling her indecision about letting someone go to get something better and learning the lessons and seeing the patterns. Let's see, adversity, adversity sorry. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So this may be a learning curve for him as well. He was through a lot, he's gone through a lot, so he might be having some second thoughts or worried feelings here. I feel like this may be um, having to do with things from the past and I feel like he's still, um, they're both still healing things here. I'm feeling healing here. And her, she's going to see the light and an ending here because number 10 is here. So she's going to see the light and see that spirit's trying to get her attention. Possibly angels, ancestors, or spirit guides are going to try and get her to see some numbers to look up. 444 is here. 4449 so that might be a number for the angel ancestors or the angel um, angel numbers to look up and the spiritual meaning behind it and uh, we'll find another message here for them 
Um, also, one nine. Let's see what other numbers. Oh, there's acceptance here. The spirits connecting here. I feel like she may realize here and accepting things. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Yeah, she may realize that it's not about changing someone. You accept them for who they are or you don't. And trying to change somebody, that's that doesn't happen. They, they are who they are. You, you can't change them. You have to accept who they are. And if they're not what you're looking for, then you go on to the someone else because you don't just stay because they make you feel bad about leaving. You don't just stay because they play on your emotions about, oh, they're the one and you're the one and blah, blah, blah. If they're not for you, then you find the person that is and you will. That it, it will be undeniable. Let's see. Yeah. There may have been a death uh, recently where this may be grieving right now. I'm feeling like this is something that's changed after wanting to find this beautiful love. I feel like this, this union started and then somebody in his life maybe has passed over and he may be having issues about that and when I mean issues it's just accepting and just not I feel like it was really unexpected or it could have been just really heart wrenching for him they may have been a, a close person to to him let's see what else he will triumph so don't worry he's He's going to triumph and come back from this. It's it's temporary, I feel, but it may take a little bit of time. Let's see on her side here. Mm, yeah, there's temptation of why she isn't moving forward as well. Um, and this is number six. This is somebody that wants to restore this with her, even though she knows there's patterns here. They may be trying to tempt her back and restore this. They're going to cooperate. There's going to be harmony, but it's only going to last a short time. Movement, choices, and decisions. And I feel like she's going to choose her. It's just a matter of time. Oh, somebody's at my door. Okay, so we're going to move on to the true heart's desires here. So... All right, sorry for the interruption that I had there. All right, True Heart's Desires for Johnny and his Empress. Whoa, that one wants to come out. Give thanks for blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you desire or deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Wow, this is their True Heart's Desire and this is what's coming up. That's so cool. I had that for another reading as well and we have deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right and I feel like that is her energy here right here with this knowing that she needs to let this person go in order to come in and I feel like she knows this I feel like this is something that is oh we got a couple that are turned over here it is important right now to take a step back and spend more time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. And I feel like this is her, that, um, that feeling of self-love and pouring into self instead of other people. Looking for love in other people instead of in self. Giving that love to herself instead of someone else. And I feel like this is really going to help her grow and see these patterns and see what she's truly is supposed to be in here. There's a new beginning here. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it. Live your dreams passionately. Wow. And look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So there is definitely a new beginning for her with him and it's just a matter of time oh here's a couple more wow 
Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Didn't I say you can't change somebody? You pretty much have to accept them as who they are. And if they're not your person, they're not your person. You can't make them your person. Now this is from him. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. And I feel like it, this is just a divine timing thing. Let's see. All right. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think and dream and imagine. And I feel like this is forgiveness in... I feel like this may have something to do with this death here, forgiving self that Johnny needs to forgive himself that there was nothing he could change about that moment. Nothing he could have done. It could be that survivor guilt um, kind of thing where why wasn't I going to or how come it's not happening to me or blah blah blah. So. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So that is beautiful. So I feel like the, there's no caged anything here between these two where they're not going to have that uh, controlling type of energy. I feel like there's going to just to be this harmony between the two. There's loyalty here and love. Let's look here at what outside forces may be around and in their energy. This one wants to come. Ah, realization and epiphany. And I feel that is more for her. I feel like she's going to realize um, what is going on in this other relationship for it to change and her to come in for this new beginning. And what about Johnny? Seeking and finding. He may be looking for her. They may be, um, I'm almost getting where they, their energy is united, like almost like, I don't know that, or they can communicate with one another without communicating. So there's courage here to seek and find and have that realization. I feel like that may be other people may be saying, look at there's there's other things out there. This, they're not making you happy. Don't stay if they don't. And what about for him? Heavenly signs. Yeah, so she's definitely having these epiphanies. He's looking and trying to find her. She's having the courage and he's getting the science. And what's their combined energy here? Self-care, absolutely. That self-care is really going to help change things here. Pouring into self, getting to know self, realizing your self-worth, knowing what you're capable of, trying new things. If you never try anything, how do you know if you're ever good at it? So there's gotta be some type of give and take here where they can move forward without any fear. Let's see, what don't they see coming here? For him, round and round. He's worried about karmic cycles going around and around and around, things he's already gone through. What about for her? Ah, the faith. She believes, she believes that there's something more for her out there. It's just a matter of taking that leap. It's fated for this. What about for him? A leg up. He'll get that leg up from spirit here with that number seven. That's reflecting and assessing on things that what happened in his last relationship and how it's changed things for a new relationship here. Let's see what's the fates here by the book. Yeah, I feel like she's definitely going to be that one person that is by the book, like doing good things and not venturing and doing anything bad. Like 
I don't feel like it's just loyalty and staying in line with what's meant to happen here. What's going on? Yeah, Yang. Okay, so this is that male energy here. She may be aware that there's Johnny is around, but may feel his energy, but maybe doesn't see him or know who he is. Or know that, let's put it this way, that he is the one for her. And she wants things to be fair. And perhaps in her other relationships, things weren't fair for her. All one-sided, that unrequited, right? And what's on the bottom of the deck? Oh, yeah, serendipity. That fruition. Things are going to come together. These are things they don't see coming. And I feel like this is this is awesome because these are things that they're going to learn before they come together they don't see this coming and this is i feel like with the yang that she's really going to see him for who he is and i feel like with this yang energy this may have something to do with the death um it may have been somebody that was a male Let's see, what are the lessons that they've learned here? Patience. So, looks like Johnny may be learning patience above all else, about being patient when it comes to love. He might usually get what he wants right away, and he may have to learn to wait on this. He may be being asked to wait. What about her? Yeah, she's holding a coin here, six, which is restoration, cooperation, and harmony. And I feel like that's what she's really wanting. She may be fine financially on her own as well. What about him? Goddess of the moon, number seven. So this is also reflecting, assessing, gaining knowledge here. And having that patience is kind of, forcing him to realize a few things being with self learning about self door to spirit yeah she may be finding spirituality here and that things need to change for her to get what she truly desires yeah she's gonna walk away i love it so this is the lesson she's learning she needs to walk away from this person that has unrequited love i can't make it up Wow, what is Spirit saying about all this for advice? And then we'll look at the outcome. His brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So whatever he was having some type of idea about or um, some epiphany of what he might want to do here, He's going to get his idea, um, his spirit saying to go forward with that. She may need to clear some chakras here to connect with that geometric shapes. What else for him? He's got a brilliant idea. There's divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. So... There may be some type of illusions that he has in his mind of what is to be. And I feel like it's spirits kind of saying, this is how it needs to be right now. You need to look past whatever imagination that you've got here of things and look to see what is, not what could be audience so she may be getting some gifts here wow there's a divine order that needs to happen here there's blessings and he may not see them as blessings right now because of the death that he's had to um, deal with let's see what's their combined energy sensitivity so they're both very sensitive to emotions and I feel like energies so they both pick up on things they're both I feel like have something to do with spirit because she's definitely door to spirit 
So she may teach him about spirituality if he doesn't know already. So let's look at the outcome for Johnny and his Empress. Outcome for Johnny. Ah, he's going to want to message her. Wow, there's action coming forth here. What about her? Ah, she might be going to a courthouse. Maybe she's married and wants to get divorced. So this might be about that walking away here. What about him? Ah, unexpected money from his idea, perhaps. His brilliant idea. And what about the courthouse here? What about her? Wow, great fortune. So she may come into some money here. And that might be why she's showing up as the woman holding a coin. Wow. What's the combined energy? This is in the distant horizon. This is fruition with the number nine. Wow. So it's coming. It's just not yet. It's divine timing. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what the blessing or challenge is here. Let's look on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, recovering from broken hearts. And I feel like they both are. This is the Three of Swords in reverse. So I'm feeling like this is healing and forgiving and letting go and not holding any resentment. Wow, look at that. Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate beginning going on here. Wow. So this, whatever they get into, once there's some healing going on, I feel like this is why there's patience needed. She is needing to heal. He's needing to heal other aspects, um, probably past relationships, getting to know self, and then also dealing with grief. And I feel like she's healing herself from a marriage that's gone down the tubes on uh, this unrequited love and she's going to end up getting some type of great fortune now this could be when she gets together with Johnny I, I don't know this might be her own fortune that she has maybe she gets a brilliant idea too um, there there could be a reason that they're coming together maybe they work together on something but whatever it is, she needed to walk away, and she does. Eventually, she does. Let's see when might this happen for them. When, when is the right moment for Johnny's Empress to come in for him, to meet him? When is the right time for them to meet Johnny and his Empress? When is the right time or the right moment determining the circumstances so it might take seven weeks for them to um, realize and take action towards this divorce it could take the seven days um, I feel like there's a healing aspect of this the seven weeks is going to be I feel like for this healing more healing that has to happen I feel like this courthouse here is just happening now, or will be. Let's see. Saturday. Let's look at what Saturday says. Joy, pleasure, and appreciation, and gratitude. Search for joy. Stay agile. So, stay the course. This is Saturn. Um... <clears throat> And with Saturn, this is all about responsibility. This is about baggage, um, getting rid of baggage. This is, I feel like this is that transformation. This is the endings with the world card is what I'm getting with this. A lack of closure, and I feel like that closure is finally coming searching for the joy in, in things and not focusing on loss. Bottom of the deck, Scorpio. Okay, so she might be a Scorpio or he may have Scorpio. They both may. Um, number eight and 2410 may be an angel number to look up and 2211, that is usually the um, 
duration of the Scorpio season, but still I would put in those numbers and see what comes up. Heal the wounds. Yeah, eight weeks, eight months. So, yeah, I kind of feel like there's going to be a little bit of time here to heal these wounds. Seven weeks could be figuring out that she's going to get divorced um, and having the strength to walk away. And then it might take up to eight months before this actually happens. Let's read what Scorpio has to say. Heal the wounds, starting over, stay confident within the process. So let's get one more. I'm going to hold on to that one. Whoops. And see what else comes out here. For the bottom of the deck, Virgo. Okay. 2408, 2209, harvest the crop. Could be six weeks to six months that these two maybe get together so that healing could take up to eight months but they may get together before then and heal together here the virgo wow let's look at what virgo says virgo says time to harvest collect value conclusion what to improve enjoy no discussion necessary and i feel like this is kind of actually quite beautiful because I feel like this is gonna be an unspoken kind of thing between the two of them they just know they just know nothing needs to be spoken so what's number six time out reflect relax and enjoy that's beautiful and number eight for the Scorpio was flow take action and burst forth to heal these wounds and seven is fruition to manifestations having patience and I feel like we've seen all those things already but it could take up to six months before this happens eight to six months so still a little ways yet to go but I feel like it's gonna be on a Saturday that they meet <laughs> And 2410 and 2211 and 2408 and 2209 may be of significance. 7786 might also be another angel message for this, this couple with Johnny Depp and his Empress. They will finally come together within that time. So that's beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I enjoyed giving it. This is giving me promise to think that, you know, things are starting to start to come together now. Um, before we just saw what she was in and now we're seeing her take action to resolve this and walking away and seeing the things close out versus what we saw before. So I hope this, I can only get what Spirit wants to give me. So this is kind of what I'm getting here with this and yeah there's lessons that were learned things they don't see coming and I feel like their outcome was very beautiful they're they're going to be able to have things move forward so we'll update this a little later down the line here so so please like share and subscribe become part of the divine oracle tribe <laughs> All right, you guys, stay blessed. We'll see you guys next time. Later.